Shalom and welcome to Sikmas of Torah. This year is entitled Reckless Driving Number 3, Dina de Mahusa Dina. So the topic of Dina de Mahusa Dina means that the law of the land, of the Mahuta, of the kingdom, is law according to Torah as well. It's a very, very complicated topic and it warrants a series of shirim on its own. So we'll learn just a bit about it and see how it relates to the laws of driving. Do we say that when someone drives in a reckless manner, in a responsible manner, it not only is a violation of he's endangering himself, he's endangering others as well, as we learned in the previous two shirim, do we also say that there's a violation of dina de machuta dina, that you're violating the iser to go against the laws of the country. It's an additional iser. This is not the only iser of someone who drives in an irresponsible way, but an additional iser is you're also violating dina de machuta dina. It's a fascinating question. So as I said, it's a serious topic. It's an intense topic. But we'll just quote a few sources over the next couple of shirim for the benefit of understanding the sugya a bit of Dina de Mahuta Dina, and also to see how it relates to the halacha of driving in an irresponsible way when one violates the laws of the country when he is driving, speeding, talking on a cell phone, passing when a line does not allow one to pass, etc. So we'll start off with the Ramah. The Ramah in Siman Lamed in Siman Ayin Gimel in Hoshim Mishpah in the Laws of Loans writes the following. Reuven goes ahead and lends Shimon money, a thousand shekel. And Shimon gives him collateral. And Reuven is not getting the money back. He's waiting, waiting, waiting. He says, it's enough already. I want to go ahead and sell the object. I want the cash. So he lent me, he, I lent him a thousand shekel, and he gave me his laptop as a picadon, as collateral. I'm going to sell it. So the Ramah says in Hoshen Mishpat that if, in Lamitet, that if the minag, the minag in the town is not to sell it for a year, he can't sell it. So the Shach says, can't sell it. He could sell it when the laws of the Torah say he could sell it. And if, let's say, in 30 days, 30 days after the loan, he's supposed to, when he's supposed to pay back, he doesn't get the money back, if that's what the law of the Torah is. So then Ramah says in Siman Yud Dal, let's say Sif Yud Dalit. So it's Siman Ayin Gimel Sif Yud Dalit. He says you can sell it right away. So the Ramah says you can't sell it right away. The Shah says, why not? What is Ramah saying? That because the law in that land, the custom in that land is to wait a year to sell it, what does that have to do with the Torah law? The Torah law is you could sell it earlier. So the Shach challenges the Ramah in a very lengthy Shach. So this is Siman Ayin Gimel, the Shach Lamitet. He says, Dina Chosadina needs to be analyzed. When it applies, when it doesn't apply. And we'll finish off just mentioning that the Shach says that some say Dino Hosadina is only those things which are Hana'at Hamelech, money that goes right to the king directly. Then he says, yes, that's Dino Hosadina, where you have a king or the government needs to run and money goes to them so they could run the kingdom. That's Dino Hosadina. He says, yes, but there are others that say that Dino Hosadina even applies between money laws, between one man and another. And that's also under the rubric of Dina de Mahuta Dina. He says there are opinions that hold that way, but he says that's only when that specific law between man and man is not regulated by the Torah. But if the Torah has what to say about that law, for example here, a mashkom, I could sell it after 30 days, then the Dina Mahusa Dina, the laws of the land can't come tell me, no, the Torah law says you can sell after 30 days. We are telling you you have to wait a year. He says, no way, impossible. So just to summarize, the Ramah in Hosha Mishpat Ayin Gimel says that, uh, that even though you normally from the Torah law could sell 
a picadon collateral after uh, 30 days. If the minag of the town is a year, you have to wait. Shach says, wait a second. Shach, Lamed Tet says, Kadina is a huge topic. There are many who say it's only money that goes right to the government, to the king. That is what you have to pay. Taxes. The laws between one another. That's that's nothing to do with the law of the land. And he says, even according to those who say it does apply, Dina does apply between man and man. That's only where there's no specific Torah law on that topic. But if there is a Torah law on that topic, namely like here, it says you cannot have such a thing. Where the Menag of the Medina overrides the Torah law, cannot be. That's a bit of a, a summary, synopsis of the Shach, and Mitzvah Shem will continue in future Shirim on the topic, Dimachot Adina, and the laws of the land, and how it would apply to dry hitch. Shalom.